go do your stunt. Baby, go fuck it up. Baby, go fuck it up. Baby, go do your stunt. Baby, go do your stunt. Baby, go do your stunt. Baby, go welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, it's your boy, Francisco Phoenix, D. Rolling Stoner. Uh, today is a different type of podcast, man. As you, as you can see, uh, I do have a full house. Uh, this is a very vegan uh very vegan podcast and I say that in like you know the best way possible man like you know uh, I got some very strong brothers with me today and the majority of these fellas are vegans uh, in this community man so I definitely want to uh, you know chop it up uh, you know get into that type of conversation but real quick man can we get a quick introduction of everybody real quick uh, just kind of give them your name and just a quick little bio of like what you got going on in the city uh, let's go ahead and start off uh, to the uh, far right with Jalil What's going on? My name is Jalil. Uh, I'm a vegan chef from Atlanta. We got a catering company out here located on the west side. So, you know, we do pop-ups, meal preps, private dining, any event you need. We got you covered. Everything vegan. Yeah. Everything. 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 My name is Julio. I run the food company, The Itel Trap. That's tropical plant-centric cuisine. Uh, we also uh, got music project, Jusafi, Planet Jusafi. You can look that up as well. And along with some of these brothers, we're doing uh, some guerrilla urban uh, gardening. So so keep a lookout for that as well. Uh, yeah, man. And you're passing it on next, man. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yep. Devontae, go ahead. <laughs> you just chilling? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm glad uh, to be yeah. here. Uh, I'm Devontae. Uh, what I do is I'm the holistic guy. I work with energy. So you can look me up on IG, Universal, the soul is S-O-U-L, Universal Healing. Uh, I do Reiki and just help people you know, really change their lives through clearing their space, clearing their fields, getting their minds right, working through their emotions, uh, especially for our community, that's very important. So uh, that's what my mission is, is to bring this knowledge uh, and this information to our communities. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. And then, then we have uh, man, AJ. Peace, family. Peace, family. I'm AJ. Um, I'm with um, Hot Sauce and Pepper, which is also a vegan <laughs> catering and pop-up company. Um, we specialize in cauliflower. Um, fried cauliflower, that's kind of my thing. That's what I do. You can get it any kind of way. Um, also got <clears throat> Docs of the Drug Dealers, which um, is a social movement. Turn it into a podcast. Put, put, put a little closer to the camera so, uh, we can, uh, yeah, so we me and my queen it. started both of these companies. So um, right now she kind of leading this. She's a therapist, but this will be a podcast soon. So look out for that, and you know, just kept connecting with the family here to chop it up. Then, yes, sir. And it's your boy D Nick from Phoenix, Arizona. I do entertainment. Um, I got the U- a YouTube channel that kind of shows what we do in life as far as vegan, as far as being positive, as far as staying co- uh, together as a collective, how you should move forward in life, and um, just an entertainment vibe that people could, you know what I'm saying, as they're going in this crazy world, they could just focus out and get some positive and some energy and some connections as we move forward in this world. So you can get, uh, follow my YouTube at Master D Nick. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, man, like, I really do appreciate you, brothers. Uh, welcome and thank you again for coming. Uh, chop it up with your boy, man. So, uh, as y'all know, I, I mean, I'm the Rolling Stone, so it is like, you know, if y'all. Are you going to pass that this way yeah. at all? Hey, hey <laughs> you want to hit this? Yes, we, we definitely will, man. But, like, I also um, <coughs> want to say, like, you know, uh, thank y'all, especially for coming out, like, during this time, like, because it's very hectic. Like, you know, we know it's just crazy out on the street, just straight chaos right now. So, y'all making it out this way, like, means a whole lot to me. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Now, yeah. 100%. With that, yeah, man. I appreciate that. With that being said, like you guys are all fathers, yes. Yes. So happy belated Father's Day. Let me go ahead and just say Thank that. you. It's a Father's Day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's get it. Nah, man. Cause like uh, you know, um, we got a lot of people like trying to figure out, you know, kind of like you know what to do during these times with children and everything. I don't have children myself, so it's like I can only like imagine, you know. So. I really want to kind of pick your brains on that, man. And like, I just wanted to start off with this, like disciplinary actions. <laughs> like, um, a lot has been going on lately as far as like, you know, uh, 
the toxic masculinity, like, you know, like, they've been gunning for, like, black men and, you know, for us for the longest, but, like, it's yeah. really being, like, publicized again, like, you know, more and more in the media and stuff like that, so, yeah, like, have y'all ever kind of, like, noticed a time where y'all may have been a little too aggressive during, like, any type of disciplinary actions, like, with your children at all, like, have y'all ever, like, kind of caught ourselves, like, yes. slipping, like, yes. Yeah, Personally, yeah. go ahead, Devontae. If you want to go ahead, um, that, man. well, I mean, this is a, a pretty uh, good topic because we got all different ages. Yeah. Right. Um, so I got four myself. Uh, oldest is ten. Youngest is one. Yeah. So there have been times where I myself may have not been in the balanced state, right, or the might, the right mindset to deal with whatever what was happening at that moment. And I, might have snapped too hard, yelled too loud. What would, would that look? Okay, so like that, like yelling. Like yeah. What, what, so for instance, yeah. I have a daughter, and you know I don't have to you know pop her or whoop her. Mm. It's you know I can raise my voice to a certain extent, and she'll start crying. Okay. I, you know I I hate it because <laughs> yeah. I feel bad afterwards, but sometimes it's justified. You know. Mm. But there have been times where I was like, mm, I could have done better on that. I feel you. I feel you. Jalil or Julio, y'all got anything? Uh, like, have y'all ever, is it ever a time, like, because I, I know, like, with males, it's different, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, mm-hmm. disciplining males, yeah, yeah. like, you know, compared to, like, females, but anything? Or? I think it goes on both. I got a boy and a girl, you know, so yeah. I kind of, like, it's, it's a balance, it's a challenge in, like, balance to know when it's too much, because, you know, well, me personally, I don't want to be over-aggressive with my son, neither, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then the same way, like, he might get as timid as my daughter if I raise my voice, and it's like, my wife checks me, too, you know what I mean, to make sure I watch my tone, watch mm-hmm. my tone, because I don't mean to come off, like, aggressive or not. I'm just, that's not the intent. Yeah, the intent, <laughs> like, the at intent all. is like, coming from a place of, I need to correct you. Yeah, right? that's all it is. And maybe I, so... For me, in my you know what I do, I talk first. I'm gonna talk to you three, four, or five times, because that's what we do. We gotta communicate. We gotta use words. And if that's not getting to it, then I gotta raise my voice, mm-hmm. or you gotta get popped. Then you get it. Then you are gonna stop doing what I told you to do. Yeah. Right. Do you uh do you guys feel like it's kind of harder to discipline um like your children in public? Like, no. more so with the no. like, image? No. Of, nah, man. Not for me, okay. bro. Like, I come from Detroit. Like, <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Like, I don't I don't go out into the public world and think about their opinions at all. Yeah. Like, not one bit. Like, I have that conversation with my kids. Like, it's, it's been plenty of times I got a whisper in their ear, so... You think I won't whoop your ass for all your life? <laughs> like, I know that's what it's like. You know what I mean? Because that's that's what went around. Like so they're assuming like it's not going to happen. Like I'm not bashed for a shot in front of these people because I when I came up, they wasn't bashed for a shot in front of people with us being pop. Like, but I agree with them saying, especially with the girls, like it's a hard balance trying to find that that baseline mm-hmm. to where you know you're giving them that deep voice, but you don't want to. Be yelling at them. You yeah, know what you, mean? Don't wanna, you don't want to. You don't want to bring them. them you don't want to bring them down like their 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 self esteem. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, exactly. It's more so, I'm doing it to check you, but they take it, you know, emotionally. And yeah, that's yeah. You know, what happened. The so, sons is trickier to me. You think? Yeah. Well, just to finish up with with my daughter, so I I have to, you know, the the love part has to come back strong. Yeah, right? yeah. Right after I I, after I, I discipline yeah, yeah, her, I you know, with yelling. You know, I get down to her level and explain to her in a calmer voice, calmer tone, hug her, embrace her, tell her that I love her. You're not in trouble, but look, listen next time. Mm -hmm. So I noticed with her, I got to do that more so than I got to do it with my boys. With the boys. And like with, in my instance, my son is very, like, he's very young. Mm -hmm. He's just two years old. There's no real reason for me to come at him any certain way. Mm -hmm. He's just brand new to life. It's more Mm -hmm. so how I'm speaking in the household in general. Mm -hmm. To my queen or like anybody else. Because the end, he's a sponge right now. Mm -hmm. He, he had, um, Iko Sedaye when he was born. So we're told all of his taboos when he's growing up in life. And one of them was that he has that fire energy. Mm-hmm. 
and to never argue, yell in front of him. Like that's something that like should be at the top of our minds is to never have that sort of contention in the household in front of him because he you know, will spit that right back. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll absorb it and he'll, he'll spit that right back. Like, it, like in our communities, it's a lot of generational trauma mm -hmm. that will not perhaps exhibit itself until you're like a teenager going through puberty. In his instance, he's already going to shoot that back like yeah. immediately. And I already right. feel that once I get off track and I'm not disciplinary in my own emotions and I raise my tone and I flex my my base you know and yeah. stuff like that like i already see how he responds to it mm -hmm. and like that's like my little sign right there like man like yeah. you need to check if that's justified in this moment like is this really the best way to go mm -hmm. about it yeah. is that what the queen uh deserves right now and you know what i'm saying like it's so it's kind of like a he's he's a barometer for me mm -hmm. yeah. so it's very very interesting he's like a, a thermometer like kind of like telling me where my temperature is at because yeah. i'll see how he acts out yeah. a few yeah. minutes after a, a conversation yeah. Well, let me yeah. ask you, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah of course. Man. So, what I moved to is, I mean, I was doing this with the boys, but now I'm doing it with the girls because I don't want to spank them. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm trying not to yell at them, but, you know, I'm trying to be more patient. So, I had the boys, like, I don't know if y'all, whoever plays sports in here, but we used to have to do, like, a little duck walk, and then they would actually duck walk your basketball practice. They would put you on the wall just in, like, a squat yeah. position. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, so, yep. so, I got my son... And he, like my nephew is doing that. <laughs> now I'm doing it with the girls, and they hate it. Like they get in shape like this. Like I, I told y'all stop doing that. I told y'all okay, get on the wall. Yeah. That's Once that wall come I, out, like, I like it. I everything. Like, yeah. I like that because word. that's that's actual discipline. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. when you look at the etymology of the word discipline, like yeah. you're actually building a character versus like breaking down their spirit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you right. if you in, if you interface something like that. Where they're actually building their bodies, they're actually becoming it's, just, it's physical it progress, yeah. right? And then the opposite is you're breaking their spirit down by just like abusing them. Exactly. And really, that that's just passed down from slavery, because they used to beat us and, and and rip us apart in front of our own families, and that's kind of stayed within the tradition. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of like have held on to that as a sort of like disciplinary reflex. We're not real realizing like. Do, do these white folks really beat on their kin like at that volume yeah. and, and what strategies yeah. so, they so it's, it's about correct. discipline it, the way can you're you, talking about I think yeah. it's best can you, can you guys uh, like uh, um, mention a time where you may have like let your uh, you know wife or you know your other like you know better ass uh, have to discipline the child instead of you like you know because you kind of saw it like felt yourself going to that point like you know or like, uh, you know, kind of like... It's a partnership, yeah. Yeah, like, so, uh, I mean, yeah. well, I have I have two boys. I got a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old. Mm. And nine times out of 10, the older one, you would think the younger one would be see the older one not get in trouble or get in trouble, no. so he don't want to do it. No. But with me, it's the opposite. The older one is more is more disciplined and more and listens more. Mm -hmm. The younger one is the one who wilds out a little bit more than him. Yeah. So... If he was the wild out on his mom, usually be like, I'm gonna tell your dad, I'm gonna tell your dad. Yeah. But if he's wilding out too much and he's getting rowdy with his mom, I'm gonna let her discipline him just for the simple fact. Why are you disrespecting your mom if she already yeah. told you, yo, relax, be quiet, I'm doing this, I'm doing that? No, yeah. I want her to discipline him to know, like, if I'm not around or anything, he needs to be able to listen to you too. Yeah. And so it's not as far as the, um, him, me about to act out and, or, do, or do something crazy, it's like, you can handle it too. Just in case I'm not here, he's listening to mom, not just dad. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so. Anybody else uh, you know, on that? Like when they may have gotten a little bit too rowdy and they have to kind of let uh, you know their wife step in or? Um, it, it's the same. Yeah. Like if I'm, if I'm too up there, like or if my old lady like see that I'm, you know, like if I'm up there like that, I, I haven't said nothing. Like you can see it in my body language. Mm -hmm. And she'll step in, and um, sometimes, to be honest with you, like from maturity, from a maturity level, I get upset when she's helping. Like later, I'll come back and apologize, but like in that moment, like my ego be thumping. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, listen, I don't need your help. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Telling yeah. them because you know, once mom steps in, all the attention go to mom. Yeah, yeah. 
they not even caring what yeah. I said no mm-hmm. more. Like, and I feel like you stepping on my toes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. 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 Y'all know my lady. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. He just got a glimpse. Yeah. He he just came out to the resort. And yeah, she's amazing. Bro. Yeah, we, we kind of had the you know black fist the resort yeah. a little bit. So, um, yeah, like it's it, that balance of of helping out and it's it's especially. A tactical situation from our standpoint when we got to step in and stop them from getting too rowdy mm-hmm. yeah. because they seriously take it like it's an attack at them like yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is any woman like you gotta you gotta be able to come and put your foot down back her up even if you disagree with her and then come back and talk about so like you tight yeah yeah, that yeah like you yeah. tight if you can't come in there like <laughs> disagreeing with her because yeah, yeah, it's gonna nah, be fire you know what I mean at least yeah. for me like I learned that lesson, like, okay, I'm either shutting up like the kids, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I'm going to help her out, and then I'll talk about it afterwards with her, so. All right, man, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I I just I just need to, I want to have more insight on, like, you know, how it is that we're going to be raising our children, like, during this generation. Like, you know, I felt like uh, the past generations before didn't really, like, open up, like, you know what I mean, as much. Even though we had more of a, rites of passage I would say like but it was still like more so within like you know uh how like pockets like different households would only hold those but like I think we need to get back to the community you know and like ask these questions and like you know especially I think it's important to have our men talking about these type of things like you know to let people know like mm-hmm. look we out here for real like you know doing our thing putting our foot down and our like you know making wise decisions out here so mm-hmm. With that, um, that last topic, uh, my man Julio pointed out something that was uh, definitely like uh, prominent to the next uh, question. Um, getting back into ve- veganism, but you said something about uh, generational uh, trauma yeah. that we had. And I believe, I mean, I'm pretty sure that y'all may agree with this, uh, that our diets have been like, you know, passed on from generation to generation, which has been terrible, mm-hmm. like, you know, for a while now. What was it like for y'all to kind of transition into uh, veganism? Did you guys come from a family that wasn't about it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like they were just kind of questioning y'all, like, what the fuck? Like, or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or did y'all kind of grow up in a family that's already been like veganism? Like, what, what kind of like, you know, uh, reactions did y'all get when y'all. My family thought it was crazy, bro. Yeah. 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 My family yeah. thought it was crazy. Everybody my my dad was trying to hit me from every angle, like, Yo, but what about this? What about that? Like, bro, like you don't care about your culture. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, a <laughs> into with the culture. Uh, yeah, 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 man. He went for my, went for the jugular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you can't call yourself Caribbean anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> oxtail. <laughs> no oxtail. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, nah, but but um, actions and it after, after, to make a long story very short, like my actions and seeing after many years of how like my life transformed our health transformed because I had an autoimmune disease mm-hmm. which I reversed through a fruitarian diet. Mm-hmm. So after a lot of these like uh, demonstrations of what that kind of diet can do for you, like it actually turned my folks around. They're vegan now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so they're vegan now after uh, like uh, seven years of like be, of like being vegan. Yeah, of being, I don't even like to say vegan to me is a loaded political right, right, term. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I say like I'm an earth-based eater. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like that's it. I say I'm an earth-based eater. I leave the animals out of it because at the end of the day, care about the animals but it ain't all about them right. you know what I'm saying it's yeah. about like knowing our true nature yeah. and that as melanated carbon based people we're supposed to have an affinity with the planet if you're ripping up creatures to put them inside of you like you're already creating uh, a disharmony uh, in your blood yeah. mm-hmm. and yeah. in your mind that drives you crazy and that's part of the generational trauma mm-hmm. so man, you, that about seven years you said? That is, about seven years or so huh? uh, about, uh, about seven years or so about uh, yeah, plant based yeah. so I'm going on three years uh, in July and my uncle still giving me shit for being vegan. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was just here this past week and from just California. Just get back in the body yeah. building. From, from from the, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, uh, the Bay Area. The so body. yeah, because yeah, he's from the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. he's still giving me shit. I'll be three years in July. So sure. it's just, I think it's a process. Yeah. You know, it, it just takes time. It's uh, a deep, like you said, generational. Mm-hmm. This is something that we've been doing for years and generations. So it's hard to change. Um, and it's new. It's different. Like you get, uh, what was your reaction when uh, you, you decided to go vegan? Like, what reactions did you get? Like, 
for I, I still hear from my moms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they Jamaican, so they always sending me pictures. Uh, and oh, it's like every Sunday of what she cooking, like yeah, you know curry what I mean? man, curry I still curry chicken. It's a Sunday, you know. So, but my wife was actually vegan first. She was vegan for about Same six here. years. You know what I mean? Okay, and cool. so she was pregnant with our daughter. So our daughter is vegan. vegan so it's our son yeah. also. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got two so it was me and my son trying to. Hurry up and tra- uh, get on their level. So I've only been solid, like not playing with it a year, but been around it the whole time because I was right there yes. cooking the meals with her. You right know? Yeah, right that's good, brother. That's but what's up. it's definitely discipline now, like especially once you know better, like when you really know better and you want to, and you want to do better. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's pretty cool. You know what I mean. You do see the attitudes. Like so our kids yeah. vegan, so I see their attitudes. Like oh, when difference. they have sugar. When yeah. they have like milk, you know, our son in kindergarten, like we could tell when he was eating like them cookies at school. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Yeah. The mucus and everything. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. You do see the whole attitude with the diet, but that combination. You know? Facts. Now that that leads actually into like my next question, like you know, um, obviously you guys are gonna uh, like you know kind of make your I don't want to say make your kids be vegan, but like you know you're gonna feed them the diets that you eat. Like you guys are on, right? I have a baby, bro. So like really, yeah. he just. He knows what he likes and mm-hmm. like what he likes is fruit he likes smoothies like yeah. fruit smoothies like vegetables he likes that he gravitates towards it yeah. and so he drinks he stays drinking smoothies every day but when he gets up and he develops his body's gonna be so refined that by the point where he makes his own decisions his body's gonna tell him right, what's right. good for him or not so even if he doesn't want to venture off and go eat some go eat some chicken I'm not stopping you mm. but your body's gonna kick your ass right, yeah, when yeah, you yeah, try to eat that definitely. chicken after you've had like a clean body after I've built that body for you for your first 12 years or whatever yeah. and uh, you were at the birthday party and you eat a cheese pizza and you start throwing it up <laughs> you're gonna know why because yeah. your, your body's been alkaline your whole life and now you've added acid you know mm-hmm. so yeah, I live that's my life right now yeah. Um, my son has a different mother. So I got four kids too. I'm eight, five, four, and one. A boy at the front, boy at the end, two girls in the middle. My son has a different mother, and over there he still eats meat. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it used to be kind of like, I mean, not even just eat meat like they, you know, like nah, and stuff like that. Oh, I mean, I'd be trying to give her a game, but my strategy yeah. after battling with it, because I'm going on. I think I'm three and a half years now of being vegan. I tried it before way back in the day, lasted like two months. Um, my strategy has been give him as much game as I can give him and he'll eventually make that decision. You yeah. know what I mean? That's, yeah. I'm like you, I feel like he's going to make the decision. You know what I mean? I just have undoubtable faith that when he look at it, and he, you know, especially he's an athlete, like the dude is serious about anything. His sport is football, but like he's just a natural athlete. He just made the academy soccer team. Eventually, he's gonna come to a point because he's gonna be so focused on his body, he's gonna realize like, hold on, this is the path. Like, this is how I feel when I eat like this, you know. And just the mind state and everything. And to be honest, I kind of dabble between um, a lot of junk food vegan eating habits. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that's just keeping it real, like. It's so many levels to it, and like yeah. like you, I'm uncomfortable yeah. with using yeah, yeah. the word yeah. vegan, but it's so many levels to the plateau of how you really can be eating, and 100%. you can always get better. That's what I love about it. It's like always another step to go yeah. to grow in. You know what I mean? To heal yourself with, like that's a whole other world. Like yeah. once you become vegan for real, for yeah. real. Like it's all yeah. like the raw life. Yeah, you got yeah. alkaline. You got alkaline. Got alkaline. Yeah. You got yeah. you know, <laughs> right. I'm mostly I, fruit because my body just talks yeah, to me like yeah, that now. Yeah, so like yeah. I'll go a whole day of fruit and maybe like today indulge on some of that, but then yeah. I can go like another day, two days without yeah, eating much, yeah. just hydrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sea moss. Yeah. Sea moss hydration yeah. and then like heat vibrating on. Now you see that yeah. like yeah. 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 yeah, that's hang up. That's hang level, bro. I make my life like I try to I try to Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm on and off, like, you know, I like uh I'll be slipping away sometimes, like, you know. But uh I definitely have a more healthier uh diet than I did like two years ago. Like, you know, it's it's progress, man. It's you literally gotta take it just one step at a time. Kinda like you when you started uh, I tried to go cold turkey. Yeah. Body responded horribly. Yeah. Went back to eating meat, and then I progressively yeah. started taking Detox things out. Yeah. yeah. So what yeah. we did when we first started is we stopped buying meat for the house. 
mm-hmm. when we went yeah. grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. We ate everything that we had in the freezer, but every time we went grocery shopping, we just stopped buying meat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So once that was out, when we go out to eat, we know we're not going to order that. Yeah. So it just became easier and easier. But with the kids at home, they were 100% vegan. But when they go out, when they're with Nana, when they're with my mom, mm-hmm. grandma, they go somewhere, you know, they might eat some cheeseburgers or something or a cheese pizza. Yeah, yeah. But my son, the 10-year-old, he now, is his body is responding. So when he eats too much cheese, he's mm-hmm. like, yo, my stomach is hurting. Yeah. I, said, I told you, boy. <laughs> so we, we educate them. Yeah, we we yeah. give them the game. Hey, it's important for you to recognize your body. A lot of soy make it come out of you like that. What's yeah. what's uh what's what's one um I guess like vegan dish uh, that you guys make for your children that they really enjoy like Ooh. you know that's something that you think that they for sure are gonna be like they don't uh, black, bean, like, you know I mean? black like, bean black bean burgers black, black bean, bean burgers, bean burgers. Mm-hmm. we make black bean burgers that's for all the kids like that's yeah we, we we prepped on Sunday so that's yeah. that's what <laughs> like, 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 is it mine's well, a split yeah. <laughs> like. like Little girl loves spaghetti. Like she just loves yeah, spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. spaghetti yeah. hits yeah, because like, that pasta. Yeah, they love pasta. Like, and that's what we are talking about. Like, more on the junk food side. But when you got, you kids, could dress it though, yeah. man. You could dress it like it do take more on us now, like to prepare more meals. But it's like it yeah. does make a difference when you make your own sauce. Yeah, when you make mm-hmm. your own noodles. Yeah. Like you got to keep them interested yeah. in it too. Yeah, what helped us with our kids though, bro, is we we did watch the documentaries because they at that age, like I got a six year old and a five year old, yeah, they, yeah. they want to know everything watch. going oh, on. Right watch now. Oh, yeah. yeah, we like watch the documentaries. I'm dead ass looking on YouTube like. Cow slaughterings, like yeah, this yeah. is what this yeah. is what the this state comes from. Yeah. My son loved chicken so much. Watch them cut this head of this chicken off, bro. This is how you, this is what they do at the butcher shop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Letting them see it, like yeah, scare them. Like stuff, but now the they know. Thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I, my little girl is screaming, right? I don't want to hurt the animals. Don't yeah. kill that bug. Don't hurt this cow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Super but powerful. Like, like, the girls take yeah. to it like. <laughs> like activists, don't they? My yeah. daughter be the same thing. Like, my daughter has been interviewed like. Jessica, mm-hmm. no, I forgot the name of it. But they didn't, she done done interviews. Like they trying to get her to Galaxy. be like the little girl. Yeah. Genesis, like yeah, like and she's real serious, bro. At the <laughs> grocery store, she be like, "Why you buying meat?" Like walk talking up to people in the grocery <laughs> oh, line, why they cashing out, oh, pre- applying real pressure. Oh, oh, and oh, I, I, I didn't teach her this. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. So I'm sitting there like, I'm yeah, waiting on them to see if they gonna say. But you know, usually. My hair be looking crazy. I yeah. come in here real Ross and class, so they don't want to say oh, yeah, nothing. They turn around, to around yeah, like so they <laughs> just they try to entertain her and yeah. just. I know they be want to say, "Get your daughter." You know, <laughs> yeah, in yeah, my man. head, I'm just laughing like grill they ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grill, grill, grill. Why are you? Eating? Yeah, like why are you eating that, bro? That's a great question. <laughs> right. Tell us. You know what I <laughs> mean? But that's what's up. Uh, what? Uh, so yeah. Um. By the way, uh, what, what is a dish that you say right, spaghetti for you? Yeah, um, kind of what we started what selling, you? bro, with the food. The to be honest, yeah. that's yeah. how it popped off. Like, I could, I could that see we like kill yeah. children loving yeah. that. Yeah. My son just likes, and is he watches me like make food, he'll try it. Yeah, yeah. he's really yeah. engaged with the process. So if I sit him down on the counter, I'm like making food, he'll 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 usually try anything I make, but yeah. he'll, he likes anything like mash, so like mash masala potatoes, mm-hmm. like the kind they put inside of dosas at the South Indian restaurants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'll he'll eat like a whole bowl of that. Yeah. yeah. Curry That's why. What about you, uh, uh, now you, uh, um, I would say, uh, mac and cheese because it's not far. Because regular mac and cheese, they love that. It's yeah. not far from the vegan mac and cheese. Yeah, they like man. the noodles, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel but you. I just, it's amazing that the generation that we live in is how we be, how we're vegans, you know what I'm saying? Because our parents yeah. weren't vegan. Yeah, we at the perfect time of generation as far as being vegan, learning about vegan. Because yeah. as you can see, he has a younger son. So yeah. with him being vegan, his son's growing up vegan. Yeah. As far as me, I didn't learn about vegans mm-hmm. till five years ago. Yeah. So my sons is already five and right. older. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. now they, I have to transition them to we've been eating bad for so long, right. all the way from soul food. We, you know what I'm saying? That would look, that would be our food. Yeah. So we gotta teach them like it ain't about the soul food no more. It's about your fruits and vegetables. Yeah. In the back of your head, they've been telling us eat your fruits and vegetables. But when you go to school, what they giving you milk, <laughs> yeah. all this bad food. Processed food. So yeah. you have to balance that between yeah. school and them coming home yeah. to eating right, and then start switching the meals. Like like you can't even eat the school mm-hmm. no school meals no more because it's all bad for you. It's you can't terrible. drink the milk. 
Now you gotta drink water. My, now my bad. Uh, I meant to ask you as well though. Uh, what was uh, the reaction you got when you first turned uh, like vegan? So I'm not right, fully right, vegan right. yet. Okay. You know what or, I'm saying? Or, so yeah. that's what I'm saying. The culture is so amazing because I'm learning as I go, and yeah. I'm around a lot of vegan people, so I'm I'm learning like. Javante could send me some recipes. I could try Julio's food. He's been doing it. I could try both of all their foods. You know what I'm saying? That they've been doing it for so long. So I'm transitioning. And it's like, when my kids are eating it, they're not really noticing. Like, you're not, you're eating healthier now. You're not really eating the old stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's amazing. It's amazing. Can I get some more? Yeah, yeah. I mean, more so like from the older generation, I guess. Like, you know, like like those who, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got the ones who, uh, you know, grew up, like, you know, you was raised on bologna sandwiches and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they still now look at you. I mean, my people, bro, like, you know, like I just seen my cousin the other day, and he's like, he's like, what up, nigga, what y'all making? Lettuce sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, bro, yeah, just yeah. like crazy yeah, stuff like yeah. that, you know what I mean? Like, and it's every always time, like bro. that, bro, like, yeah. until they over and I'm actually cooking, I'll just give them something, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just yeah. make them full. Yeah. Like I, one of my um, he's actually my uncle. He's my father's youngest brother, but I'm older than him. Mm. Like he be coming getting lasagna, getting wings and stuff like that because I just started throwing it to him when he would be over there. You know what I mean? But it's different, bro. Like in our community, it's not cool to be healthy. Yeah, like, just to, to do something different. Yeah, that's, that's so normal. Mm-hmm. Right, right. It's, it's normal not, to eat bad in our community. It's normal to eat bad. As soon as you start switching that up. You know, they make a whole pot, a whole table worth of food, yeah. and you like, ah, yeah, that's yeah. dirty, that's me, I can't handle this. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I, I can <laughs> just, like, not disagree, but my wife's side of the family, they're like, and they're from Virginia, so like, they grew up on the chitlins and all that, but they mm. took they took to it well, you know what I mean? Like, that's my family up. didn't, like, they didn't, like, bro, like, like the thing. last couple Thanksgivings, like for at least three years, like it's been vegan. It started off as vegan options. They're like one thing to cauliflower. Mm. All right, we just did the greens without yeah. the uh, hammock yeah. in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now, like, we just had a like fully vegan Thanksgiving with them too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's what like, sucks. But they yeah. took it on and they're older, so you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty cool, like that's seeing dope. that. That's that's dope. 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 I'm just talking yeah. shit about it. You know what yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dang. Well, I mean, you start seeing how unnecessary the meat really is, bro. Yeah. That was the biggest thing for me. Like, oh, this shit really. Ain't necessary. Like, I can get all well, the flavor. It lowers your vibration. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I'm not even talking like from like the real spiritual, spiritual side. side. I mean like from the taste side. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, like, you, yeah, you always you thought the meat was the, taste good. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. you have to do everything you can to make the meat edible. Since cauliflower, yeah. this, if this was fried chicken, I would still have to season it right. Mm-hmm. That's well, why we, we got the really whole running awesome. joke about our food being mm-hmm. seasoned and you know, the unseasoned yeah. side. Man. So either way, I got to season it and put it together. So yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't need that. And that's how we even came upon this, just playing around. I'm just mm-hmm. saying, I'm like, ugh. And then I remember, like, oh, that's yeah. fire right there. Yeah, and like. And the ancestors got Bro, great. just, mm-hmm. come on, man. <laughs> My grandma child. was one of the baddest <laughs> that ever did it. Oh, and whenever I cook, I, it's crazy. I put, like, I always talk about it while I'm cooking. Because this not me. I'm not the the grandbaby who picked up the cooking. You know what I mean? I just mm-hmm. found something that worked and expanded on it. People responded to it and we ran with it. You know what I mean? That just God put me on something positive. Um, but as far as the family, I think they come around mm-hmm. like one by one. Like yeah. like you said, like you all, somebody gonna get snapped. They gonna start asking for dishes. Mm-hmm. They gonna be around you. They gonna keep wanting to eat it. Then they gonna pass it on either to their kid or to the next mama or somebody who back at home when they take some food with them and yeah. gradually they start getting curious yeah. and it happened like that i know at least 10 people who just like, they turn vegan yeah yeah like, yeah, like, like seeing watching. us and just yeah. watching and then they did their like, thing doing, yeah, yeah. not like we you know i'm not gonna say we led them to them i think it just they saw that it's possible. Like, yeah, you know, it's like they big snacks around. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, you gonna be coping. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> think it's so, they think oh, it's so like, hard and so expensive. Yeah. Um, and that's, but the the junk food or the processed shit is what's actually expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's what's really hard for like, you know, um, and I, I'm, I hate using the word vegan like as well because there are so many people who kind of just, uh, kind of just fall under the umbrella or just use the term to kind of like uh like 
project this false like you know image of themselves like you know of, like supposedly being like a healthier more spiritual type of person, or a righteous like, person know, righteous or person, or person. Right. Like, you know, perfect, like, it's you know, to me the like, word you know, so vegan like, like, like monopolizes yeah, you know, like, so like, like eating you know? uh, yeah exactly you know what i'm saying so i don't like i don't i don't really <laughs> like that term either but uh you know until we figure out you know a general term like yeah. you know that we can like all come together that's anyway uh, besides that, I know we gotta get going and everything, so I just got like a few more points um, or uh, topics that I want to kind of mention real quick. Going back into like fatherhood, uh, I had brought up earlier like um, sorts of like rites of passage. Um, if in today's culture, like I feel like we have a lack of rites of passages going on right now. Yeah, what agree. is something that you would implement as a like probably to your your own children, you know? But like, what's something that you could think of that some like uh, a rites of passage that you think should be like you utilized mm. in this generation that we're in today. I can share with you because this has been on my mind. Okay. Uh, a week away in the wilderness, just men and their sons. Mm. 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 A week, um, and in that week we are, you know, camping out. We're in the wilderness. We're hiking, we're mm-hmm. talking, we're sharing stories, we're guiding, we're mentoring. Um, because I never had that. Yeah. And uh, summers, right? Like, let's say if it's a week in the summer, summers are always memorable, mm-hmm. right? You can always think back to your summers and have specific memories to call back. I remember this time, this time, this time. Yeah. If you spend a week with your son or your son spends a week with his dad and uh, his friends, they're going to remember that forever. Mm. And that could be a form of passage. Like, hey, you're transitioning into a young man now. Hey, this is what you should be focusing on. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So for me, that's one thing that uh, like I, right? I want to create. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. I uh, take you back off of that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, mean, I just wanted to agree. Because I've been like thinking about that, bro. Right. And um, <clears throat> our counterparts in the world and how often they actually go out there. I feel like it allows you to face fear because we've been so removed from nature. A lot of people don't want to admit it, but it's something fearful about going back into it, you know, because it's a reality. Like, you might run across a mountain lion or a bear, you mm-hmm. know, but in our community where black boys are fighting so hard for just the ability to dream to be whatever they want to be, I think facing that fear of nature and getting back to it would be super dope. I know it would be dope for my son, you know, all black boys, just being able to go out there and get back in touch with themselves. You know what I mean? Being the yeah. original tenders of the earth. Yeah, like, go out there, take, our, take some bows and arrows, mm-hmm. you know, take take our arms, mm-hmm. our ammunition. Definitely, definitely. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about what about you guys? I definitely want to get everybody's point on, um, like, what what's something, like, you know, uh, uh, that you could think of that would be a rites of passage? For the uh, upcoming generation, oh, man. You mean like something we suggest, something, or something, or something suggest. that's out there? It, it could be something that's out, out there that could be re-implemented that you think, like oh, okay. you know, that is not <laughs> there, or something you just thought of, like you know, because we are in a different age with right. like you know media being like you know so like fucking like amplified, right. and like the internet and all that stuff. So it's like. I'm pretty sure there's some like rites of passage that you know won't transcend. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, Mine's just like but, yeah. for like both of my kids. It helps me too and my marriage. But like it helps like just to be present. Like if I sit back and think like, bro, the whole city just got shut down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Both like I picked up on more entrepreneurship once COVID hit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Now I got my kids right there. I got my wife right there. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just be present mm-hmm. with them. Like don't forget to be present because. I could easily get caught up looking on the damn phone all day right. or my kids could get focused on them games or like like everything is amplified you know what I mean like yeah. attraction is high right now like just to yeah. something you know what I mean or I could get caught up wanting to cook too much like you know what I mean like getting too caught up in business yeah, and not being there with my wife balance. and kids yeah so it's like I really just been pushing like working on myself too just being present with them mm-hmm. you know what I mean like staying focused on what's in front of me you know yeah. what I mean that's why we 
we get to sit down with them right now, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, who would have thought, like, we'd be shut down sitting with the yeah. fam, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still could finesse to get unemployment, whatever, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, for real. <laughs> like, so, yeah, they, they camping in, it's kind of like, yeah. that, that sounds like smooth, like, you know, bringing everybody together, like, mm-hmm. you know, secluded, like, so it's like no distractions, everybody's just there, like, in the moment, like. Yeah, um, I can't even. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Are we even familiar with rites of passage? It's like, um, I, that's about the only one I can think of. A rites of passage to me is, I hate to keep going back to my upbringing like that, but it's like getting a bag. Like I'm about to say, you coming of age and white, getting on the block for yourself. And like, many, for me, white folks, I don't know, know what, what it like is. Going hunting is like a rites of passage. Like yeah, that, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like you, you, something that you take your child to do to like become like either a man or a right. woman. What was that for us? Fishing. Child. They both said something very yeah. profound though that I don't. I'm not sure if you are even aware. Yeah. But you said go out in the wilderness, and then you mm-hmm. were talking about building on the element of fear mm-hmm. and how you, you we were conditioned to resist fear. Mm-hmm. But going into a ritualistic situation where you're going into the wilderness is actually something ancestral because. Yes. There is a tribe, I forgot the tribe's name has escaped me, but then Central Central Africa, in the Congo, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and they actually take their young adolescent boys um, when they're able to like come of age, which is like 12, 11, mm-hmm. something around there. And they actually don't show them these masks that they've crafted, that they've kept in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. So they've never seen anything like it their entire lives. And that's when they get introduced to that element of fear mm-hmm. because they actually there's elders of the night who will then like surprise them and scare them like mm-hmm. kind of like pull the, pull the fear like, out oh, of them. Man, yeah. yeah so like you know when you say decorative African mask somewhere like that's aesthetics for some yeah. white people but there's actually a real deep yeah. like social and mm-hmm. spiritual significance to how that built the nature of that our dope. people yeah. yeah so the nature of our people was like cultivated through rites of passage mm-hmm. and rituals See for me, I, I haven't thought about an actual rite of passage right. like these gentlemen have. Yeah. I think that's amazing. With me, I like think I'm a value based thinker. Mm-hmm. So like I'll think like okay, so like I have this much amount of time. What values am I looking to fulfill within that period of time? Yeah. Well, my son's not an exception to that. So like a value for him that I already thought about was is that we're not gonna like celebrate pagan holidays in the mm-hmm. traditional sense mm-hmm. where like for Christmas he's receiving a gift from us and something mm-hmm. like that more so it's a value based time that we can have him enjoy that energy meaning yeah. <laughs> meaning hey go pick out a toy in the store a few of them and mm-hmm. we're gonna bring them to some kids and you're gonna make them so damn happy they're gonna be so happy to see you and we're gonna have a great time we're gonna have a dinner with them yeah. you know what I'm saying and building that value in him and then to me like that's, that's, that's more of like a consistent mm-hmm. value based system versus just one R- ritual yeah, maybe yeah. you know what I'm saying I mean that that it, that sounds like a uh, rites of passage yeah, like yeah. going to like serve others like you know what I'm saying like, in, in, specifically in times when it's meant to a, commercialize yeah. things yeah. Mm-hmm. we yeah. flip the script using our value based system I think that definitely and creates, plug it into uh, the time of year and it can still yeah. be fun like it can still right. be a mm-hmm. great family enjoyable. experience mm-hmm. yeah. you're just changing the narrative there, there are many many ways or many different like versions or it's pretty much whatever you can think of like, is a rites of passage. Like starting a business, like you know, what I mean, to some people, like you know, mm-hmm. they have their children at the age of five that help have their LLCs and like you know, like that was gonna be the second yeah, thing that I was saying. Teach them to take forms, on. Like, oh, they see yeah. that. So, that's, that's right there, right behind me. They see that all day. That, like, that's what it's business like. Before pleasure. Yeah. That's what, like with the business. One thing that like all these brothers do, they haven't already done, is like you can know, underwrite your children into the business. Mm-hmm. So that way, their name, you're paying off these business credit cards. When they come up 18 years old, they have a business credit line already established in their name. So at least it's an option for them. Whereas I know a lot of us didn't have options when mm-hmm. we hit 18. We're like, okay, what am I gonna do? Yeah. But as you, you tell your son, like, yo, look, you got a hundred thousand dollar credit line. I think I'm running. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta know what to do with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got, you got this in the game. Yeah, That's yeah. why they groom. Yeah. They around yeah. their dad yeah. was cooking yeah. and like doing the game. Yeah. So at least it's an oh, option. Yeah, I knew this right. was good, man. Uh, Dom, you got, uh, you got uh, an example of a rites of passage that you think um, should uh, be implemented? Yeah, uh, especially like times right now with all the stuff that you could get, you could see on social media and all how the gaming, like you were saying, the gamings are advanced. Like just have them take a minute to unplug. Like, and what I mean by that is yeah. get off your phone, get off the game, get off the internet, like just come chill with your family and let's talk, let's go on hikes. We haven't been camping, but we go on hikes. Like we went to Payson last month mm-hmm. and there was, you know, 
what I'm saying? You're allowed to record, but you can't be on no social media, no phone or nothing. You know right. what I'm saying? Because my yeah. kids are old enough no to service. be on that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Mm-hmm. So we just go on a hike and enjoy our time together because as the world gets crazy, they need to know that family's important. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And not that internet stuff, like you don't always need to be on that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You could be becoming an entrepreneur. Like how are we going to build a business? How are we going to establish it? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Social media ain't going to do nothing <laughs> right now, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's important to unplug and have your family in tune with what's going on with life. Hey, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, God. Facts. Oh, God. Damn, mm-hmm. that's what's up, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, fellas, um, uh, I do have, I know we got to get up out of here, man. Like, uh, I had y'all for a while. Um, is there any, like, last words y'all can say uh, about uh, eating right, eating healthy like that it kind of like alleviate like uh, or like kind of remove a lot of the fears that people have uh starting off kind of any uh any tips y'all can give people who want to eat right who just kind of don't really know uh what's the right path like you know what i'm saying y'all got definitely. Any last words? yeah definitely uh it's simple don't make it hard you know okay. take <laughs> a few meals out yeah just start implementing more plant-based meals more you eat, you start adding more on, and before you know it, you completely transition. Yeah, so just take slow. it. Yeah, take slow. it slow, slow and steady, no pressure. Yeah, a real easy way too is to make sure you get enough water in you, because if you drink a gallon of water a day, yeah, you'd be surprised how much you don't eat. You yeah. realize you don't need, because yeah. a lot of times you're just filling stuff in your body because you're dehydrated, but you're not drinking enough mm-hmm. water. You got to drink, drink a gallon <laughs> of water. <laughs> Day. This is this is part That's of my process. Keeps the munchies away. If I do drink a uh, a bottle of water after smoking, like mm-hmm. I don't need no munchies. Like you yep. ain't lying about that last day. For I'm gonna basically go with that same thing, like adding something positive yeah. first, like taking on more water or taking on more juices or smoothies or something like that. And then once you incorporate that as a new habit. Then you can start with the okay. Let me eliminate the chicken. Mm-hmm. You know, just stop doing chicken when you know, like whatever. Keep doing your beef, whatever. Get off the chicken, and then you go to the pork or however you want to do it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like just as a simple way. Like some people can go cold turkey, but that's yeah, that's no, what's wrong. Do that's what's <laughs> wrong. I can do it. The yeah, average yeah. person needs to like. When you start, start with, with you gotta wean yourself. Start off. with the water. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like start with the water. Start with the water. Like, That's yeah, super just, simple. Yeah. Just start just with being just hydrated. Just yeah. Drink a whole damn thing of water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Because it's gonna take away meals for sure. Like start all that little like that. McDonald's, Burger King run when you out and about Snacky. and you just eating for no reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Those yeah. Doritos and you know, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that water will help. Trust me. It's gonna be shit. Oh man, uh, Dom, you yeah, any last words, man? Uh, Stuck in the um, toilet, man. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, um, what was the question again? Uh, like, uh, any, any last words uh, towards words. the people who want to um, start eating healthier, but yeah. who may have I a mean, fear? yeah, okay, I got you. I say just do your research. Mm. You know, we live uh, in the time where you can research everything about yeah. being vegan <laughs> right. and learning about it. Do your research and pay watch YouTube of people who are already vegan they're gonna tell you what's up um, teach your kids like what they eating what they're not eating what's right to eat and then as far as that they're gonna they're gonna figure it out you know and, and, and make their decision like obviously I was eating that meat and it was making my stomach hurt so yeah. maybe I should try something and substitute that meat you know so just do your research and you'll figure it out it's, it's not hard don't judge yourself mm-hmm. like if you eliminate meat or you you doing the water and you're doing your research and you start mm-hmm. doing something you two weeks in and you, and you go a couple of days without doing it as long as you got it in your mind and get back to it it eventually turn over for yourself if you start judging yourself it's gonna drag you and it's gonna make you say fuck it and i'm just gonna go back to doing what i was doing so like don't judge yourself or, and also don't compare yourself to nobody else which is it's your, your own journey. Like, yeah. Take yeah. your own journey. It's your own journey. journey. Um, Will, uh, anything on that, man? I say just find out why you want to eat better. Like once you figure out why mm. you want to eat better, then you'll understand why you should or why you will do this. You know what I mean? Reach out That's to them folks who do have meal preps. Like you said, do your research. Figure out what vegan options like. Look at the 
ingredients on the back. There's a lot of things that you can have that are vegan still, like yeah. certain brands, certain like Oreos. You can still have Oreos, you know what I mean? Like, you can have Oreos yeah. about, as a vegan. Well, yeah, see, not, te- technically, technically, vegan. they're it technically vegan. It's yeah. not healthy. Yeah. Yeah. But again, right. that's where it comes Google to being judgmental. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't like, judge like, yourself. I know there's a few things like French fries and I ain't no fucking Oreos. Yeah, like a French fry is not healthy. Right. Just so fries out, not, oh, but they're slow. right though about not judging yourself. Yeah, just yeah. start slowly. Because then you gotta, you won't, they will stop doing it. Man, mm-hmm. if you gotta get the soy chicken patties and all that stuff, man, do it. You stop. know what I mean? Whatever helps you start it or helps you like. Because there's gonna be going. there's gonna be cravings, bro. Like I used to yeah. have them for oh, real. Yeah, and that's it's when them little day. gardens yeah. and all yeah, that came yeah. in handy. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, damn, I really want a chicken sandwich. But I don't feel like cooking, and we gotta go. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Warm this up real quick. Yeah, mm. yeah. You eventually get off of that too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. levels every time you. Yeah. you know, once you become yeah. vegan, it's still gonna be a battle when you're in it too, because then you're gonna want to go raw, and then that really yeah, gets hard. Good. That's you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like for real. Don't judge yourself <laughs> and don't rush exactly. unless you, you built for it. Right. Because right. going no. going no. raw, bro, is. Yeah. I understand yeah. it. Like how this brother eats. Yeah. And like how you know like straight up raw people eat like. That's like Avatar level. What we talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's, 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 like, right. no, I heard this old roster man yeah, told me like, when you eat an eye towel, like it's uh, it's certain <laughs> rosters they eat meat and eat fish, but they always respect the ones who don't eat none of that. Like even if they they feel yeah. like this how I eat, they know that they eat better over there. So I know like this dude eat better than me. Yeah. You know this king eat better than I do. So I'm striving to get to that point. Yeah. But I'm not looking at Julio and just feeling down about nah, myself. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? It's fun. Like, I'm it's just going to tap into I'm his, it. his yeah, knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. To <laughs> <laughs> He's an example, though. So what I want to know, like, bro, like, how can I stop doing this? Now I got a resource I can tap into yeah. my brother. Yeah, you know yeah. Right? yeah. come into your yeah. resource. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Yo, That's man, basic. I know it's uh, getting late, man. It's getting hot. So, uh, can we go ahead and uh, have you guys just uh, drop your names and uh, your um like yourselves real quick oh man you can follow follow me at everything E-V-E-R-Y-T-H-A-N-G everything vegan man everything you want we got vegan you ain't gotta worry about the soy meat replacements we got you you need help in the kitchen we got you you need help on that dinner date we got you you know what I mean just hit us up, follow that us. That Philly sub. Bang it for Barbecue Jack <laughs> Bruce Slider. Everything. Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, Philly yeah, sub, bro. Yeah, the, yeah, right yeah. there. Come on. Who like our piece. Us. Right here, yes. Yeah, so the Ital Trap, you can follow that. That's my food company. It's a Caribbean Ital food. Ital, I-T-A-L. Trap, T-R-A-P. And then you got my, you can follow me for my musical creations at Planet Jusafi. Hey, that's your yeah, bro. And yeah. I, didn't, I, I mean, I knew it's somebody in the family. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was actually yours. I just seen it. And I'm like, oh, this got to be somebody that's you know part of the the circle, the tribe. You know, so I was like, I didn't realize it was yours. That's what's up, bro. I told him I'm gonna get back in the studio soon. Yes, Javante, man. Yeah, Javante, you can follow me at Universal Healing. That's U N I V E R S O U L dot healing. Uh, hit me up for some energy sessions. You definitely need it during this time. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can follow us Facebook, Instagram, Doctors of Drug Dealers. This is where you can come tap in for those resources. How to go plant based. I got um, an ebook on there 10 plant based meals for under $10. You can hit me up, download that PDF, start you off with some recipes to get you on your journey, or just talk about the death care system is what we call it, and you know the over prescribing the medication and all this reliance on prescription drugs trying to get your health right. When it really starts with your mind, your hydration, and what you're eating. Mm-hmm. You can also follow the company to come get some of that flavor and that soul from hot sauce and pepper on Instagram sauce. and on um, Facebook. Hit us up. We specialize in cauliflower. We got you. And if yeah. I can't take care of you, I'll send you to one of the brothers. Yeah. Don't buy yeah. That's how it works. Uh-huh. Nah, man, please let the people know. Yes, sir. sir. Follow me on all social media platforms. Um, IG, DNIC the Master. Twitter, YouTube, Master DNIC. 
Um, you come see me get the entertainment, get a lifestyle that we're living. Um, Francisco, I want to say thank you for having us on your podcast. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. For real, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you guys uh, for like you know for real making it out, man, and like having this oh, discussion, yeah, pleasure. conversation. Right. Uh, you, this is something like like I said, like I feel like it's very very needed and very important that we start getting more masculine um, voices out there. Uh, that's on. Uh, just on a real like like uh, you know what I'm saying I don't want to say righteous path like you know what I mean because we're all human and everything but like right. we own everybody's real like you know what I mean really trying to strive I call to, it the honorable yeah, path the right. honorable path right. everybody's striving to do right you know what I'm saying so it's like I really respect uh, each and every one of you guys in this building thank and, you like, I want to say thank, thank you once again for coming out to uh, have this discussion with me I plan to do uh, these more often so if you guys are available you know what I'm saying we we'll definitely like uh, keep you guys we about to get up out of here, y'all. Um, thanks for tuning in. Smoke one if you got one, man. Uh, elevate, man. Eat right, man. You know what it is, all right? Stay right. Uh, easy. Peace. 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 Peace.